up fellow weirdos of the internet and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, my name is Ray Roddingwell and I'm a special effects artist, costume designer, character designer, and character actor and I'm here to talk about my favorite things. In today's video, it's actually going to be kind of a two-parter. I'm going to show you how to make a doll character in this first video. Very nice and cute, normal. I know a lot of people on my channel also like more of my normal, cool, fantasy kind of makeups. So I'm trying to bring that onto my page slowly. And then the second part of this is going to be how to make that first doll into something very scary and cracked and spooky and missing eye and all that kind of stuff. So if you would like to see how I go from this into a nice, cute doll, then keep on watching. Okay, so real quickly, I just put some uh, black mini squares in. Obviously, you can use whatever color you want or not use them. I like having mini squares because it makes my eyes look a lot bigger, very doll-like, um, but I don't have any fun colors. I just have the black ones from doing spooky stuff, but still, still work. So for the base, I'm just gonna go in with a super, super watered down, water-based white face paint. I'm gonna use a damp beauty blender I'm already pretty pale, so I don't have to do too much, but I didn't, I don't always like using foundation. Sometimes I feel like just using like a water-based paint works fine. my eyebrows really quick. If you want to block your eyebrows out and make them a little bit thinner, go for it. Um, my eyebrows are really dark and thick, so I tend to have a hard time blocking them out, especially when I'm going over it with such a light color like this. Like if I were to airbrush, I could block my brows out easily and not have an issue. But with using such like a light amount of paint it makes it kind of hard so I'm gonna be leaving my brows the way they are it's really the biggest part when it comes to having a doll is the round cheeks and the little turned up smile and so I am gonna go in and start with the mouth as we know a lot of dolls have that cute like little permanently turned up lips that go into a very round cheek so we're gonna use this as shading for those areas I'm also Gonna contour my nose a little bit, give it that cute little turned up nose with the little ski slope at the end. So we're gonna go in and use the, um, this is actually blush from NYX, but it's such a great cool tone color. It's like a taupey color and it's perfect. I use it for contouring all the time. I'm just gonna take a little angled brush. So I know it looks a little scary right now, but that's just because we don't have any blush on. We're just very pale and sunken in. Once we get some actual color going on here and add some like proper highlighting and stuff, it's gonna look a lot cuter. Just bear with me on this. I like using super, super, super peachy colors when it comes to working on dolls. So I have this cream blush from Bella Pierre Cosmetics. I think it was in like a boxy charm or something that my grandma gave me. But it's cool because I can make it look very stippled on like a doll's 
cheeks would be. But it's such a good color. That's a lot. I'm gonna dilute this a little bit. I don't think I realized how pigmented. Wow, it's really, really pigmented. So I'm gonna go in back in with that super watered down white paint. There, that's better. Alright, let's let's be chill this time. I'm gonna really quickly take some of this white paint and go down some of these highlight areas. I'm gonna add in just like a little bit of like that, like those like Tim Burton sad, sad brows, I guess is how you I would describe them. Just a little bit. I feel like that helps a little bit with that, with that doll like vibe. Okay, so, so I'm not gonna go super crazy with the eyeshadow because I feel like a lot of baby dolls, it's just very like pink and shimmery and peachy. So we're gonna stick with that vibe since the rest of this makeup is also very peachy so I'm gonna do some really 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 simple peach makeup I don't want to make the white eyeliner too far down, but we are going to put some white in our waterline and then underneath it, go in with a light bit of black. So I do have big fun lashes for the top, but I don't have any for the bottom, so I'm just going to paint them really quickly. I feel like that's also a very doll-like thing is having like the top lashes or actual lashes and then the bottom they're painted on, so we're gonna do that a little bit too. I'm really trying not to make this look scary, but I feel like this looks horrifying. That might be because I have a fear of dolls, so this is still scary to me anyway, but like, I feel like it's not really, it's, it's, I feel like it's a little scary looking, I'm sorry. Oh my god, did I do this right? It doesn't feel like I did. Man, I forgot how weird it feels having false lashes on. I'm starting to look like a doll. Just takes the very, very last minute steps. I very much understand why people avoid these things like the plague. False lashes are not fun. These are super pretty. Okay, so I think all that I really want to do is the, I want to add marionette lines because it's going to come in handy for the creepy aspect of the second video. 
So I'm gonna do that really quick. my hair I'm just gonna curl it um, maybe put some like little twisty I don't know you'll see um, and then we'll be done so let me get to the curling and I will see you guys in a minute all right there you have it this is the final look of my doll makeup I added some curls and I put my doll dress on make sure you stay tuned for the next part where I make this into a very creepy broken cracked porcelain doll I'm really excited about that thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoy me if you enjoy my channel please feel free to subscribe you can leave a comment and like this video and don't forget to push the notification bell so you never miss a single video have an awesome day guys and I will see you in part two of this video mm -hmm.